Hello guys, this is your alchemist with some potions for you. First off, I mix bone meal, hawkbeak and snowberries. This is a resist potion. It resists fire, frost and shock. Nice to have three in one. Okay. Next up is hawk feathers, luna mothwing and vampire dust. This is a potion of invisibility, cure disease, fortify light armor and health regeneration. It can be used with just a single e effect of course, but lovely to have more effects on one potion. Need some health or stamina? Here I use a potion made of uh, charged skewer hide and eye of the saber cat. It does just that. Gives you some health and gives you some stamina. Any uh, health restore reagent? I use blue mountain flowers you can see, plus giant's toe and wheat makes for a nice combo of restore health and fortify health. I use that quite a lot. Next up is Elsir, fire salts and juniper berries. It's my marksman potion. I use it for the marksman effect, but it also adds some fire resists and some restore magica. I never use restore magica, but you might. Beehive husk plus charged skewer hide and hawk feather makes uh, my sneak and fortify light armor potion. It also gives uh, some resist poison and it cures all diseases. Now we're at the poisons. I use two poisons as well. The first is human flesh, imp stool and slaughterfish scales. It paralyzes the target and gives it dual poison damage. It's okay. I use that sometimes. Lastly, there is a cheetah potion. Mixing crimson nern root with jarn root and then either of human heart, hanging mass or glow dust gives you insane poison damage. Drains magicka, drains stamina and decreases magicka regen. But the jarn root, it's a single item in the game, there's only one. Now I'm going to show off the potions and you can just pause to see what we made. Um, I'll give you a little time with the potion. Now you see even them all, and um, I hope you like them. I use them to play my game. Um, I hope you have a nice one, and go kill yourself some dragons now.